level 2 and 3 hospitals directed to attend to all patients, including those suspected to have the 2019 novel coronavirus, who are seeking consultations treatment under DOH Circular Number 2020-0023. Department of Health confirms first case of novel coronavirus, an asymptomatic 30-year-old Chinese woman from Wuhan, China, who entered the Philippines via Cebu International Airport via Hong Kong on January 21st on board a Cebu Pacific flight. She also took a Cebu Pacific flight from Cebu to Dumaguete and from the same city flew to Manila on a Philippine Airlines flight. She was hospitalized at the San Lazaro Hospital in Manila. Department of Health has recorded 29 patients under observation. World Health Organization declares coronavirus outbreak a global health emergency. The main reason for this declaration is not because of what is happening in China, but because of what is happening in other countries. President Duterte issued an order to temporarily stop the entry of all visitors coming from China's Hubei province. Panagbenga Festival, which means Season of Blooming, opening parade in Baguio City was cancelled due to novel coronavirus care. First novel coronavirus death outside China took place in the Philippines. A 44-year-old Chinese male, the partner of the 30-year-old Chinese woman, who was confirmed positive for the virus on January 30th. He was admitted at the San Lazaro Hospital in Manila on January 25th, 2020. The couple boarded the following flights. World Health Organization released a statement, a symptomatic infection may be rare and transmission from an asymptomatic person is very rare with other coronaviruses, as we have seen with Middle East Respiratory Syndrome coronavirus. Thus, transmission from asymptomatic cases is likely not a major driver of transmission. President Duterte extends travel ban on all travelers coming from mainland China and its special administrative regions, Hong Kong and Macau. President Duterte gave an assurance that the government will never hide anything about the novel coronavirus following an emergency meeting with officials. Philippines health authorities are now looking at 80 patients possibly infected with NCOV, including 8 people who had close contact with a Chinese couple who tested positive for the virus. Third case of coronavirus was confirmed, a 60-year-old female who arrived in Cebu City from Wuhan, China via Hong Kong last January 20, 2020, and thereafter traveled to Bohol. The 60-year-old traveler sought consult in a private hospital in Bohol on January 22 after experiencing fever and coriza. Cultural Center of the Philippines cancels Pasinaya Festival 2020 due to threats of novel coronavirus. Pasinaya is a multi-arts festival held annually and features crash workshop film screenings, visual arts exhibitions, and activities for children. In 2019, over 16,000 spectators attended the said festival. Persons under observation for possible novel coronavirus infection climbs to 215, 184 were isolated in hospitals, 9 refused admission, and 17 were discharged and under strict monitoring. General public was advised to avoid crowded places and continue to practice self-protection measures by Department of Health Secretary. 30 repatriated Filipinos from China on a chartered plane arrived at Clark Air Base and transferred to the new Clark City to undergo quarantine for 14 days. The 38-year-old Chinese woman from Wuhan, the first patient confirmed to have the 2019 novel coronavirus in the Philippines, has recovered. Her recovery confirms there are currently no living patients with infection in the country. Department of Health launches novel coronavirus tracker website. Davao City Mayor Sara Duterte announced the cancellation of the 83rd Araw ng Dabao celebration on March 1 to 31. 78 Filipino passengers transiting from Taiwan who arrived in Cebu have been held at the Mactan Cebu International Airport since yesterday, February 11, 2020, for refusing quarantine in Cebu. World Health Organization renames 2019 novel coronavirus to COVID-19. CO and VI come from coronavirus, D meaning disease, and 19 stand for 2019. 
the year the first cases were seen. The Department of Education released a memorandum authorizing regional directors, school division superintendents, and school heads to suspend classes if there is one confirmed case of the novel coronavirus within their jurisdiction. Department of Education suspends all national and regional activities involving learners and or teachers requiring travel and congregation of various schools, divisions, and or regions and all off-campus activities for the month of February. 11 Koreans, 10 adults, and 1 child from Daegu, the epicenter of the coronavirus outbreak in South Korea, arrived in Boracay Island via Kalibu International Airport. VCO or Virgin Coconut Oil looked into as possible treatment for coronavirus infection. A 48-year-old Filipino who had travel history to Japan becomes symptomatic experiencing chills and fever. Another Filipino, a 62-year-old and a regular visitor of a Muslim prayer hall in Barangay Green Hills in San Juan City, experiences cough and severe pneumonia. 26 Koreans who flew from Daegu City in South Korea have been placed under quarantine in Cebu. Of these 26 Koreans, 19 are between ages 23 to 62 and 7 children between ages 6 to 12. All arrived in Cebu just hours ahead of the announcement of the travel ban. Flag carrier Philippine Airlines announced its decision to implement a voluntary separation program for 300 workers as the effect of COVID-19 worsened the financial losses it incurred since 2017. Flag carrier Philippine Airlines canceled some of its flights to and from South Korea starting today. Cebu Pacific canceled all of its flights between the Philippines and South Korea starting today. A woman who boarded Cebu Pacific Flight 5J39 returned to southeastern state of New South Wales from the Philippines became one of six new confirmed COVID-19 cases across the state's capital, Sydney. The Interagency Task Force on Emerging Infectious Diseases approved the resumption of Filipinos' travel to South Korea except North Gyeongsang Province provided travelers will sign a health declaration form to denote their knowledge and understanding of the risk involved in their trip. A man after a five-day trip to the Philippines with his friends went home to Taiwan on March 3rd and was confirmed with a COVID-19 infection by a laboratory test. Two Filipinos, the 48 and 60-year-old males who became symptomatic on February 25, 2020, tested positive for coronavirus. Both were confined at the Research Institute of Tropical Medicine in Muntinlupa City. The 62-year-old male patient became the first known local transmission. Deloitte Philippines reported it has taken the necessary precautions to manage the situation since one of the two latest cases that was confirmed was their colleague. Kuwait's Directorate General of Civil Aviation released a circular that all flights to and from the Kuwait International Airport will be temporarily suspended for the Philippines and six other countries. Department of Health Secretary raised the country's COVID-19 situation to Code Red Sub-Level 1 and recommended to President Duterte the declaration of a public health emergency. Department of Health confirmed that the number of COVID-19 cases in the country has risen to six. The latest was the wife of a COVID-19 positive patient who had no recent travel history. President Duterte declared a state of public health emergency. Because uh, with this uh, public health emergency, you can, as the mayor responsible to execute the laws of the land, the, ordin the ordinance plus the, uh, the laws of uh, the national government. DOH confirmed four new coronavirus infections, bringing the total number to 10. President Duterte ordered the suspension of classes in all levels in Metro Manila from March 10 to March 14. Country's COVID-19 cases climbed to 24. Department of Health confirmed nine new cases of COVID-19 infection in the country. Malacanang's main palace was closed for disinfection after several cabinet members go on self-quarantine due to COVID-19. 
Philippine Senate was also closed down after a resource person at a Senate hearing tested positive for the said disease. 16 total infection confirmed, bringing the country's total coronavirus positive count to 49. 10 of these patients have no history of travel outside the Philippines, and 8 of them had no exposure to someone with COVID-19. Quezon City government also reported that a 27-year-old doctor tested positive for COVID-19, the first case of infection of medical personnel in the country. World Health Organization declares novel coronavirus outbreak a pandemic. Describing the situation as a pandemic does not change WHO's assessment of the threat posed by the virus. It doesn't change what WHO is doing, and it doesn't change what countries should do. We have never been before seen a pandemic sparked by a coronavirus. This is the first pandemic caused by a coronavirus. President Duterte places the entire Metro Manila under community quarantine effective. Domestic air and domestic sea travel to and from Metro Manila shall be suspended beginning 15, 2020, March, March 15, 2020, and to end on April 14, 2020. Three total new infections confirmed, bringing the total number of people who have acquired the disease to 52. Philippines reports second COVID-19 death is 67-year-old Filipina. She's the first Filipino national to die of the said disease. On February 29, she was admitted at the Manila Doctors' Hospital after showing symptoms and tested positive for the virus on March 11. In Sarangani Province, two patients under investigation fled to Davao to take a flight to Manila in the hopes of flying to Japan. A manhunt was launched and they were tracked in one of the hotels in Davao and confined in the isolation facility of Southern Philippines Medical Center. Department of Health reports 12 new COVID-19 cases bringing the total number of confirmed cases in the Philippines to 64. The government raised the country's COVID-19 situation to Code Red sub-level 2. Malacanang released guidelines on stringent social distancing measures and community quarantine in Metro Manila to take effect starting March 15 until April 14, 2020. Department of Health reports 13 new COVID-19 cases, bringing the total number of confirmed cases in the Philippines to 111. COVID-19 death toll in the Philippines rises to 8. Several malls adjusted their operating hours following the government directive to implement curfew across Metro Manila. In Cebu, flights from Metro Manila and Dumaguete City were banned. An employee of the House of Representatives who tested positive for COVID-19 dies. First COVID-19 casualty in Negros Oriental was recorded. A counselor of the municipality of Payasan. He recently traveled to Green Hills in San Juan for a convention of the Philippine Counselors League. Department of Health confirmed first COVID-19 case in Tagum City, a 21-year-old woman who traveled from the United Kingdom. She was immediately isolated on March 9 after seeking consult from a local health facility due to cough. DOH confirms 29 new COVID-19 cases, bringing the total number of confirmed cases in the country to 140. Among the new cases is a 13-year-old girl from Quezon City, the youngest coronavirus patient in the country. Country. Mayor Sara Duterte banned the entry of all flights from Clark Airport going to Davao City. Food and Drug Administration warns public against fake test kits for COVID-19. Senate Majority Leader Juan Miguel Zubiri made public he tested positive for COVID-19, the first national elected official infected by the disease. 444 Filipinos aboard the Grand Princess cruise ship arrives at Clark Air Base in Pampanga. Among these are 438 crew members and six passengers. Several malls have temporarily closed in line with the newly implemented community quarantine and curfew hours in Metro Manila. Flights from Cagayan de Oro City, Legazpi City, and Clark were banned from Cebu City. Passengers arriving from Dumaguete City via seaport also prevented in entering Cebu. Cebu Pacific lays off over 150 cabin crews amid COVID-19 travel restrictions. China donates 2,000 COVID-19 test kits to the Philippines. Actor Christopher De Leon confirmed he tested positive for the said disease. 
House of Representatives confirmed that another employee at the legislative chamber tested positive for COVID-19. Department of Health confirms 45 new COVID-19 cases, bringing the total number of confirmed cases in the Philippines to 187. Department of Health also made public that one of their directors tested positive for the virus. Business process outsourcing companies were given until March 18th to provide temporary accommodation to their workers, especially those employees working working in the night shift. Some utility firms that provide internet, wireless communications, services, water, electricity and loans adjusted their customers' payments due dates. All other flights from domestic destinations were banned from Cebu City. Individuals coming from Gihulgan, Escalante, and San Carlos were also not allowed to enter. Cebu confirmed its first COVID-19 case, a 65-year-old male confined at the Chonghua Hospital in Mandawa City, Cebu. Passengers from all other ports were denied entry to Cebu. In the same city, effective immediately, all recreational centers including fitness gyms, movie houses, and theaters Casinos, bars were ordered to close down. World Health Organization announced that people suffering COVID-19 symptoms should avoid taking ibuprofen, as this anti-inflammatory drug could worsen the effects of the virus. CNN Philippines announced that it will be off air for at least 24 hours to disinfect the building after another tenant where it is located confirmed a COVID-19 positive individual was at its premises. Department of Health launched COVID-19 emergency hotlines for any questions or assistance or if they have symptoms and known exposure to confirmed cases or patients under investigation. Valenzuela City has reported its first case of COVID-19 and under strict home quarantine, following the guidelines provided by the Department of Health. Mayor Sara Duterte placed Davao's five provinces, six cities, and 43 municipalities on a 14-day lockdown. Cebu started local testing for COVID-19 following the arrival of 100 test kits from Manila. A barangay head in Marikina faces charges for allegedly spreading incorrect information about COVID-19. In Metro Manila, three individuals arrested for hoarding and selling overpriced alcohol. Two suspects were caught selling 500 ml bottles of ethyl alcohol at 140 pesos instead of the suggested retail price of 61 to 74 pesos and 25 cents only. Another suspect, a sales lady at a medical supply store in Santa Cruz, Manila, sold 60 ml alcohol bottles at 80 pesos each. NBI sees 1,360 pieces of thermal scanners and 7,680 pieces of face masks from a store in Santa Cruz, Manila due to overpricing. Airports in Luzon stop all outbound international flights after it was made public on March 17. Philippines temporarily suspends the visa-free privilege of foreign nationals to take effect on March 22 to provide leeway to international visitors already en route to the Philippines. Some 150 doctors and other personnel went under quarantine for exposure to a COVID-19 positive patient at the medical city in Pasig. The Philippine General Hospital in Manila and the Dr. Jose N. Rodriguez Memorial Hospital in Caloocan City has been designated as exclusive COVID-19 hospitals. NBI conducted a raid at professional skincare formula due to overpriced alcohol. Young cardiologist Dr. Israel Bactol, while fulfilling his duties as a doctor, loses fight versus COVID-19. Global crude prices drop to $20 per barrel. Oil firm Phoenix Petroleum Philippines Incorporated expressed diesel price reduction by 2 pesos per liter and gasoline by 3 pesos. 530 medical staff of the University of Santo Tomas Hospital were reported under quarantine for exposure to patients being treated for COVID-19 or persons under investigation. Another healthcare professional loses fight to COVID-19. An anesthesiologist, Dr. Greg Makasaet, from Manila Doctors Hospital. In Quezon City, three COVID-19 patients who belongs to the urban poor communities were sent home due to health facilities lack of space. DOH confirmed the first two COVID-19 cases in Davao City and under strict home quarantine. In Cebu City, as announced yesterday, students and the elderly whose ages are 65 years old and above should stay at home. 
23 of the 127 foreigners stranded in Bohol due to travel restrictions left to Bigon Port headed to Cebu to take flights at the Mactan Cebu International Airport going back to their countries. Restaurants in Cebu province, in an executive order issued by the governor, told to stop dining service. In Cebu City, the Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board in Central Visayas intercepted five units of van for hire and a bus in Naga City because of overcharging and overloading of passengers. In Cebu City, hotels and resorts were told they can continue to accept guests but were restricted to have beach activities or other events in compliance with the province ordinance stopping all events and gatherings. Philippine Airlines announced its temporary suspension of all international flights from March 26 to April 14. Dr. Cedric John Sarmiento de Castro was arrested for allegedly selling overpriced thermal scanners for 9,000 500 pesos each when the suggested retail price is from 800 to 1500 only per piece. Four more Philippine Heart Center doctors were reported to test positive for COVID-19. Another frontliner in the fight against COVID-19 dies Dr. Raul Diaz Jara, an esteemed cardiologist and internist who also served as president of the Philippine Heart Association. Senator Aquilino Pimentel III confirmed testing positive to COVID-19. The second Philippine senator to contract the viral disease. Iligan City confirmed its first COVID-19 case, a 46-year-old male and a native of Masiu Town in Lanao del Sur. In Cebu City, five more public utility vehicle drivers were arrested over social distancing rule. Senator Sani Angara confirmed testing positive to COVID-19 the third Philippine senator to contract the viral disease. Cebu province placed under enhanced community quarantine in line with the lockdown. Entry of all travelers on international flights in Cebu province will not be allowed, effective 12.01 a.m. of March 27. Two Philippine national police officers tested positive for COVID-19. One of the officers is assigned at the PNP chaplain service at Camp Crame. Balanga City Executive Rudy De Mesa succumbs to COVID-19. Oriental Mindoro confirmed its first COVID-19 case, a 21-month-old baby girl who was in Muntinlupa City from March 5 to 12 before she was brought to the province. In Cebu City, a 50-year-old lawyer, Attorney Romel Rosito, was arrested after allegedly posting names of persons who he said tested positive for COVID-19 on his Facebook account. Cebu City Mayor declared a one-month state of enhanced community quarantine to take effect on Saturday noon, March 28 until April 28, 2020. A male nurse in Cebu City was splashed with chlorine on his way home by two unidentified men riding a motorcycle in Barangay Labangan at around 8.45 p.m. Another senior Department of Health official tested positive for COVID-19. Another healthcare professional loses fight to COVID-19, a pathologist in Cebu City, Dr. Helen Tudtud. 370 Filipino crew evacuees from three different cruise ships in Italy arrived back in the Philippines. 248 crews came from MV Costa Luminosa, while 122 were from MV Grandiosa and MV Opera. Bongbong Marcos tests positive to COVID-19. In one of his statements, he said he was unwell after returning from Europe. Metro Manila Development Authority General Manager Jojo Garcia confirmed testing positive to COVID-19. In President Carino Town, Sultan Kudarat, five unidentified men attacked a frontline health worker of St. Louis Hospital based in Takurong City by splashing his face with Zonro. Criminal charges filed against a town mayor in Cavite Province and two other people over the alleged spread of fake reports on COVID-19 case that caused panic in Cavite City. Department of Health apologizes for COVID-19 volunteer health professionals 500 peso daily allowance. On this day, 12 Filipino doctors have already died fighting the COVID-19 pandemic. Former Senator Heherson Alvarez and his wife have been confirmed to have COVID-19. Pioneering pediatric surgeon Dr. Leandro Resurrection III passes away due to COVID-19. The Interagency Task Force for the Management of Emerging Infectious Diseases through Carlo Nograles released a list of target beneficiaries who could avail of COVID-19 subsidy 
in the amount between 5,000 to 8,000 pesos worth of aid twice. As hospitals become overwhelmed with the rising number of COVID-19 cases, Philippines announced it is converting some government facilities, ships, and hotels into alternative quarantine facilities. According to Cabinet Secretary Carlo Nograles, the Philippine International Convention Center, World Trade Center, and the Rizal Memorial Sports Complex will be converted into fully functional quarantine facilities. Facilities. 